Hey guys, Voli here. Welcome to a new video today. Guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys a pretty sick website called Panthoid. Um, it's a really good editing software that is free. And what you need to do in order to go find it is type in backgrounder three into Google. Uh, and it should be like the first thing that comes up, as you guys can see right here, backgrounder three online custom YouTube background uh, art. So uh, it'll come up with this. Um, and I'll show like basic layers and stuff like that. I've actually already made a thumbnail. I'll at the end of this video I'll just do like a little speed art of me making this. Uh, it's actually really really easy But uh, what I'd like to do though is it says uh, Like it shows all these templates and I don't like these templates I when I first ever made my YouTube channel my original header uh, was this one right here uh, And it just had the name bully is very very dumb um, but these are just like, I don't know, uh, people take advantage of this way too much. I see these thumbnails everywhere, people just using the thumbnails that were provided. Uh, but I could show, as, as you guys can see right here, I made myself one that is not on this list whatsoever. And I've actually kind of made a theme to my thumbnails. Usually like to do is, of course, what you want to do is you want to click on YouTube thumbnail. And you have the option of, say, the YouTube backgrounder, uh, Right here it just shows like the bars, so if you're on mobile, you'll only see this area. If you're on the laptop, you'll see all of it. I don't know what these two are for, uh, but as you guys can see, everything's out of place because it is meant for a thumbnail. Um, but that's what you want to select. If you want to make a thumbnail, you want to select type, YouTube thumbnail. And usually like what I like to do is I want to go gradient, type, and I want to go linear, uh, and I like to go color. Um, and I just want to make it like a dark to red. So if you guys can see if I do this, it gets darker over here. And if I break it closer over here, it gets lighter. Um, and just makes the, it makes the thumbnail have that cool effect. Um, and usually I like, what I like to do is take the layer, uh, opacity and bring it down to 0 0.1. Usually it'll be at just 1, but if I take it to 0 0.1, it makes it so then, uh, my second step I'm about to show you guys is it'll bring layer 2's background so as you guys can see i like to starburst so you have all these options you have noise which is uh, it's like i don't know it's weird lightning which is also weird uh but if you go starburst you have the option to make so they have two different colors and they can be in the background but gradient uh the gradient tool which i like to use and the starburst one really go well together um, so I like to trump the radiation to like say 40. I'm just gonna show you guys that you can make it bigger the more like, you know. Uh, but I like to go around like 40, uh, it's a good uh, size. And then what you want to do is go layer opacity to 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1. Because as you guys can see, if I go all the way to 1, it'll just bring it like this. But if I go like this, it makes a cool looking effect in the background and just gives that extra looking, that the extra cool looking step. Um, but what I like to do, this is where the madness happens, okay? Uh, as you guys can see, we got my favorite class, and this is all text. You guys can uh, pick what, um, you guys can pick the theme of your text. I uh, can either make it like this theme, that, um, it's just, it, it all matters about your per, uh, preference. Um, but usually I like to use these couple ones down here if I can get there. Um, I like to use this one. This one looks okay. I like to also use this one sometimes, um, and Revolution, also this one too sometimes, uh, but mostly Revolution. Um, but you guys can change the color of your text that you have on screen. You can make it say a gradient, so if I wanted this red and black, which probably won't look too good, <laughs> uh, I can change that, I can make it darker, I can make it lighter. Uh, but, uh, you can, I forgot to tell you guys this, uh, gradient angle, so if I go say 60, uh, the gradient angle will say, um, hold on a second, let me just make this white right here. Uh, but if I go 60, see how it will do this? Like, it'll go from that side to this side. And if I go 90, which is a 90 degree angle, of course, it'll go straight up, which looks pretty nice. And I can make it look like that. It just makes the, makes the text that look uh, somewhat nicer. Uh, you can also, in this program, you can make it so that you have a text border. I don't usually like using this. It's like, I don't know, maybe for some uh, text that is too small, I kind of boost up a little bit. But uh, if I wanted to, say, make the thickness bigger, I can just do this and make like a, a border around the text. But usually I don't like having that. Uh, you can also do text shadow, uh, which is, comes in handy, actually. I actually did it, as you guys can probably see. I did it on my little warlock here from Destiny, uh, just to give that, that cool effect. But you can also do it to text, too. 
It's a little weird. Uh, sometimes I like doing it, uh, but see how I, like, I can make it down. It's just, it's a really cool effect that it can give the text. Uh, but, okay, so file. So what I like to do is, for most of my thumbnails, uh, I like to go on Google and just type in some random thing to say, like, Destiny Hunter transparent background. And it'll bring up all these, like, all these pictures of, uh, uh, hunters from Destiny that have transparent background, so then they don't have a background, like a white background. See how this guy, see how this guy just doesn't have, uh, say like a black background before behind him. It's just the warlock. It makes it really good for thumbnails. And all I need to do is just click this little mountain here for the picture, and click this little text box here just for to add text such as this. Um, but I like I just it's as simple as clicking this. Then I'll bring this little menu up, and you guys click select. And you can literally do whatever you want. You can you could use this guy right here who has like a weird little design for. A hunter behind him I don't really like uh, but like it's just I don't know it's such a cool effect and it makes the thumbnail not only cool but like you know what I mean like it just it's the extra effect that I like uh, in thumbnails and I just I don't know it's fun I like making thumbnails that's why I learned so much doing it uh, what this guy just disappeared um, but yeah uh, I'm just gonna move it back to how it was there you go um, but yeah, guys, that's gonna bring us to the end of the tutorial. It's really easy. After you're making your thumbnail, make sure that you hit download your background, and you can easily just apply it to a video. Uh, if you're watching this video, you should know how to apply a thumbnail to your YouTube video. But yeah, guys, after I'm done talking, you know, doing this and like doing my outro, I will be showing you guys a little speed run of me, not well, a little speed art of me making this. Uh, thumbnail right here. But anyways guys, that's gonna bring us to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't leave this give this video a big I'll see you guys in the next time. In the next time. In the next time. Great job, Brandon. <laughs> see you guys later. <laughs>